channel. I am revamping this thing. I know that I made like four or five vlogs when Jacob and I were first together, and then I never made another vlog. There was a really long transition period when Jacob and I first got married where I struggled with a lot of insecurities. I was super scared that he was gonna leave me even though I know he loved me and he never gave me any reason to think he would leave me. But I just had a lot of insecurities left over from just a lot of different issues from when I was growing up and when I was in college and I let those affect me and so there was just a lot of times where I just wasn't comfortable in my own skin. I wasn't confident in my ability to talk in front of a camera, but now it is two years later from when Jacob and I first got married, and I finally feel ready to start my new channel and actually commit to it and make videos every single day. You heard me. I'm going to film a video every single day and post it to my channel for this year. So January 1st is the first video that I'll be putting out. There may be some extra videos of just vlogs, maybe even behind the scenes of my videos, but I'm gonna have a pretty standard setup for this series. I'm going to be celebrating every single day is gonna be a new celebration. It's gonna be celebrating whatever the national day is or the world day or the state day. I have no clue, but today is the first day and it is New Year's Day. And New Year's Day is a fresh start usually for most people. It's the day where they're like, you know what, I am gonna start over and guess what? That's what I'm doing. And I encourage everybody else to do that. Choose something that you want to improve on. There are so many things about myself that I could improve on. <laughs> I am not a perfect person. Jacob is not a perfect person. And we actually, we sat down last night and we talked about the different things that we want to improve on and work on together as a couple. And like one of the things that we talked about was how we tend not to go out and interact with a lot of people. We're very homebodies, we're a little bit of hermits. We go to work, we come home, and then we just hang out together. And we'll hang out with family sometimes, but we have friends at church who have been trying to make plans with us and we just never make time for it because it's not ne necessarily a priority for us, but it should be and it will be. This year we said, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna fall through with making plans with our friends at church and at work and so that's something that we wanna work on collectively as a couple is encouraging each other to make time for things like that because I think friends and family, spending time with them, it's important and it keeps you connected and it keeps you grounded. And so that's something that as a couple we wanna work on and for me this is, this channel is what I wanna work on. I wanna work on my self-discipline personally because I tend not to follow through with a lot of things and I, I don't want to be like that. I, if I want to give, if I give my word, I want to follow through. So this is the way that I decided I'm going to do it. I am going to make a video every single day celebrating whatever it is. Today is New Year's Day, and I just wanted to talk about resolutions and the different ways that people go about doing them and the intention behind of it because I really do think that is a big thing. And Jacob, you need to stop texting me. Do you guys know what the number one resolution is for most people? It's usually something health related, whether it be going to the gym or eating healthier or losing weight. I mean, it can be any variety of that, but that is maybe the most common resolution there is for people. And I will say for me, it's actually another one of my, uh, the things that I want to self-improve on is actually committing to going to the gym because I started a workout program and I'm having to start it over because I wasn't able to complete it. So I'm gonna start it over and I'm gonna actually follow through with it. I wanna see progress and I wanna take care of myself because not because I want to lose weight and not because I don't think that, I, not because I'm not happy with my body. I want to make sure that mm, I am healthy for one day when Jacob and I have kids and we can set a good example for our kids. That's really important to both of us. And right now, I am not currently setting a good example because I like almost ate a whole bag of Cheetos the other day and like half a pack of Oreos by myself. So that is not a good example of being healthy, but the first step is just committing to it and saying you're gonna do it. And that can be really hard 
Because I will say for me, I like to just put it off. I'm like, oh, I'll do it another day. I'll do it another day. I'll do it another day. But that day never actually comes because you keep putting it off and it's hard and it's difficult. And that is something that I have been learning is just because something's hard doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. And even though it's going to be hard and you may cry or you may be upset about it, you just need to do it to get over that hump of saying, okay, even though I didn't want to do it, I'm just going to do it. And so when I had to do, I had to do 100 push-ups for a program that I was doing. And the first time I had to do that, I cried. I cried and I cried and I was so upset. I was like, I don't want to do it. But I ended up doing it. It took me like four episodes of a TV series to get through because I was watching the TV show while I did it because I had to keep taking breaks because these arms can't do 100 push-ups on their own. Nope, there's, there's not much there. Um, like when I try to flex, like nothing moves. It's it's real sad actually. But it's just getting over that hump of, of your feeling like you don't wanna do it, but just doing it. And that is so hard, especially if you don't really have anybody pushing you or encouraging you. And so for me, my accountability buddy is Jacob. He pushes me to be better and challenge myself. And I am very thankful that he loves me enough to push me even when I mean to him when he tries to. Because I can say that I don't take criti like constructive criticism well, but he just handles it really well because he loves me. And I'm very thankful that for that. But if you don't have someone like Jacob, maybe with this a friend or another family member like a parent or a cousin or an aunt, and if you don't trust any of those people or you don't feel comfortable, I mean, you can always go to a teacher or a counselor at school. Like I will say when I was in school, I was really close to my counselors and I went to them and I talked about the things that I wanted to do and they would help me put things in place to reach those goals, whether it was academically or personal. I mean, I thought at one point I wanted to graduate early and my teachers were helping me take the court, like set up my schedules so that way I could graduate early. I ended up not actually doing it because I switched high schools and there was a lot of other complicated issues, but my counselors were willing to put in the effort to help me. So there are a lot of resources and a lot of different options for accountability. And in this aspect, you guys are a form of accountability for me. You guys are gonna be the ones to be like, hey, where's the video if I didn't post it? And for me, I want to follow through on what I'm gonna say to you guys. I'm promising to make a video every single day, and so I'm taking the steps to do it. And preparing for your, your goal is a huge part of being able to follow through. I know that when I don't prep a workout or I don't set my, like think about what I'm gonna do ahead of time, I usually don't end up doing it. Like when it comes to cooking, cooking something that I gotta work on in the house. I work from home now, so there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to cook dinner. Um, and so one thing that to help me figure out what I'm gonna cook dinner is I ended up getting a magnetic menu board for my for my fridge and it helps me meal plan and it's got a place where I can put grocery items that we need and I'll be honest I've had it for two weeks now and or almost I've had it for a full week this is the second week I'm gonna have it and I followed through last week I was able I cooked the two things that I put on there so yes it's only two but this week I have three things to cook on there and I'm really excited to follow through with it and actually do it because it just it feels so good when you can look back and say yeah I did that I did that so that's Prepping is like a huge part. So for these videos, I'm gonna make them a day or two ahead of time. So that way when it comes time to post, I'm not like rushing to get it done. Or I'm like, ugh, you know what? I'm gonna, I missed it. I didn't prepare, so I'm not gonna do it. And so that's really important. But some of you may not be super organized, but things that help me are ha is having a planner. I like to color code my categories, but that's just, that's, that's, a, that's extra anal if, if you wanted to be but you don't have to color code but planning having something that you can like write down a plan of like to-do list that really helps to-do lists are like my savior I will every day I'll usually take a piece of notebook paper and I'll just write a to-do list on it and that really does help with especially when I'm feeling overwhelmed it helps when I'm feeling overwhelmed I'm like I've got a million things to do today and I don't know how I'm gonna get it all done so having something that you can physically check things off on your list, that is a huge help. But 
if you guys have any resolutions that you are really excited about or that you really want to commit to, put it down below in the comments and we can cheer you on together as a group, as a collective YouTube group. I don't know what we're going to call each other because I feel like we're not the Flipsiders because it's really more of like the dinosaur and the video game stuff. I don't know what we're going to have to, we're, what we're going to call each other. We're going to have to come up with an idea together. But right now, I'm just super excited to share this stuff with you and just be able to, to make these videos and share them with you. I'm so excited for what I've got planned. I have planned the next two months of my video topics and I am so pumped for each and every one of them. Some of them are gonna be longer videos than others. It depends on the subject. Some of them are gonna be like really short and some of them are gonna be a little bit longer. It depends. But I really hope that you guys enjoy my videos and if you have things that you guys want us to talk about or video ideas, I mean I'm very flexible when it comes to that and I'm really excited and I want to make content that you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that little notification button so you get notified every time I post a video. And I want to hear what your guys' ideas are for your new... New Year's resolutions, blah, 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 New Year's resolutions. And I just, I want to be able to encourage you guys to follow through and just really just try this year to just self-improve. I think it's important that there's always something that we can work on on ourselves. We're not perfect people. We never will be. But there's always things that we can improve. So I want to be able to encourage you guys to do that. So leave a comment below on what you guys want to work on this year. Tomorrow is National Science Fiction Day and we're going to, I'm going to be talking about the top 10 science fiction TV shows or movies or things that I like. And so get ready for that. I'm a nerd out like hardcore, but I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Thank you for watching and have a good day.